Roger Fisher from Seattle, Washington, born on February 14th, 1950. Uh, it's so funny, I, I didn't start playing guitar till I was about 15, but God, when I first heard uh, music, uh, it just thrilled me to my soul and there was no way that I wasn't going to be a musician. But it wasn't until uh, about 1965 when uh, I think uh, I think I heard "You Really Got Me" by the Kinks, and God, my world just changed. Uh, I remember one day out mowing the lawn, and I I could see myself on a big stage, uh, just killing an audience, and I I knew that was going to be my future, and so just ever since then, just lived and breathed uh, music. And, and uh, it's an amazing thing because uh, music reaches into the, the depths of a person and touches you in such a profound way so deeply. Uh, it's just an honor to be in this trade and uplifting people and, and into the craft for the right reasons and that is unselfish uh, that you are creating something uh, about yourself that you're going to give and so you realize that you're a you're actually a servant and uh, when it becomes selfless like that to me there's there's nothing better you know there's, there, I couldn't be doing anything in life better than than what I'm doing as being a musician and uh, we just found out in December that uh, the group that I started and named Heart uh, was inducted into the uh, 2013 uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and it's just such a, uh, an amazing honor. It's hard to wrap one's head around that, knowing that you're in the same group of people as Jeff Beck and Mick Jagger and all these guys that you've always held in such high esteem. If you could go back and change something, what would you change? You know, if I went back and changed the most painful thing that ever happened to me, then I wouldn't have learned the most important lesson I ever learned. God, it's, it's really, <laughs> it's a hard lesson. But uh, sometimes you have to pay uh, a, a, a deeply heartfelt, soul-felt price to learn what you need to learn. But having learned that, when you don't make those mistakes again, then you are uh, in, a, in a position of uh, wisdom. And that's a nice place to be, especially as your body fails when you get older. Absolute most important thing to be successful is define success. And my definition of success uh, is that which uh, nurtures your spirit and helps you be in a place uh, spiritually to be able to be on the stage and give something of value to the audience. If you don't have that, you've got no business being on stage. You know, there were many highlights, but one incredible moment was we were playing out in the middle of the Midwest, right in the middle of a tour. Everybody was kind of in that zone where you're, you're kind of burned out and kind of elated at the same time. Uh, the stage performance is uh, second nature by then. And I was playing away, and we were playing Mistral Wind, my favorite heart song, and playing away. And all of a sudden I realized my consciousness was about 10 feet right out here and I was watching myself play and I was thinking, that, that guy is really good. So I had this incredible out-of-body experience watching myself perform Mr. All Win. That was certainly a high moment. One of the funniest moments that we ever uh, encountered was when we would fly into a place and we'd load into the limos, uh, it was Ann and Nance and my brother and me, because we were with Ann and Nance, in one limo. And I think we had like uh, one of the uh, uh, 
you know, the wardrobe people with us or something. And then it was Howard and Steve and DeRocher, uh, the rest of the guys in the other limo. Well, one time we both got into our limos. And we took off from, we had our own leased uh, plane. Took off from the plane we're driving away. And we look back at the plane and there's Steve Fossen going, <laughs> pounding on the window going, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So we kept driving for a while, but we came back and got him. My brother and I have spent the last four, four years working on an album. Uh, it's a new music genre. Uh, the music genre is world rock. So you take uh, ethnicities from all over the world and take a little of this here and a little bit of that there and blend them together with rock and roll. And it's an incredible uh, genre, and I, I think we're going to be the first of many groups to fit in that genre. And I think it's going to be a, a, a really popular genre because it's really different. It's, you know, rock and roll is so hackneyed. Let's do something different. So we really did, and we've got a very uh, eclectic group of musicians. Uh, we actually have an Urhu player, a Chinese lady in the band, for instance. Uh, we're really drawing from uh, the influence of Baba Tundi Olatunji, uh, the African uh, guy from Nigeria who uh, brought traditional African percussion to the United States. He had a, a great album uh, out in 1959 called Drums of Passion that at that time sold five million copies. Nobody knows who he is except guys like Mickey Hart and Santana who worship him. But he's a real uh, backbone of our group. And uh, the album is called All Told and it will be out uh, in March. This is Roger Fisher. Founder of Heart, you are watching Rock This Magazine. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank, thank you. thank you. thank you very much. Thank you. Ready? I'll see you back home. Okay. <laughs> okay.